Hello everyone, this is Michael Hurwitz from MIDI Kinetics. Today I want to take a look at the Composer Tools Pro Expression Map Converter, which is a little utility that allows you to convert your Composer Tools Pro presets into expression maps and vice versa. So you just click on the plus button to import either an expression map or Composer Tools bank. And here I'll just import a small bank. And I can take a look at the assignments by clicking on them. So I'll export the expression maps. I'll just create a folder to put them in and hit save. And that's it. Let's go look in Cubase. Looks good. They all have the correct label. Each key switch was assigned to a trigger, which corresponds to the key position. And the outputs are the custom outputs that were assigned in Composer Tools Pro. Experienced Cubase users will also notice that the converter automatically created those dummy reset slots in the top position that have no trigger. But I'll come back to that and talk more about why that's important later. Okay, and likewise, I can go the other way around. I can create a Composer Tools Pro bank using expression maps. So let's go find some more expression maps to bring into the converter. and click Export Composer Tools Bank. You can head over to Lemur. And you can bring in the bank just like you always do by importing it into your user folder. Everything was mapped out correctly with the trigger being used to assign the key position and the custom outputs were mapped onto each key. So the way the conversion is done is very simple. Let's go back to look at the converter. The converter uses the trigger to determine the key position. So since this spiccato key switch trigger is C minus two, then that's the key that will be mapped in Composer Tools Pro. And then the expression map outputs will become the custom outputs in Composer Tools Pro. And you can see that of course, either by selecting key switch info, where you can see the custom mappings and the corresponding note, or when you're in edit mode by clicking on the key switch. Now, if you've used Composer Tools Pro before, you might have noticed that the play piano key note now has a little star beside it. And that's because in the latest version of Composer Tools Pro, there's a new piano key mode called exclusive. And this star is indicating that we're in exclusive mode. Piano key exclusive mode is like the opposite of piano key disabled. In disabled mode, only your custom outputs will be played and the default piano note will be muted. And you can see that by swiping over to key switch info. But in piano key exclusive, only the default piano note will be played and now the custom outputs will be muted. So why would you wanna do that? What's the point of assigning custom outputs if they're just gonna be muted? Well, we still need some way to tell the converter how to create the expression map outputs. So this mode allows you to assign both. Only the piano note will be played, but the output data is still there. It's just muted. And what's also nice about this is if you happen to find yourself using a DAW that doesn't have expression maps, since Composer Tools Pro still knows about the correct assignment, you can just switch back to piano key disabled, and now only your custom assignments will be played, and everything will still work. When you import a preset from the converter, this mode will automatically be set to exclusive. So just going back to the converter now, if a preset's output is exactly the same as the trigger, then there's no need for a custom output. So you can see in this preset, the trigger, C-2, is the same as the output, C-2. So back in Composer Tools Pro, if I just load the preset, you can see no custom outputs were assigned. One last thing here in the directory, don't forget that Composer Tools Pro has the ability to selectively copy key switches. So if you ever want to update your existing presets with some key switches that you imported from an expression map, you don't need to start from scratch. Just copy the key switches by themselves. Now let's backtrack a little bit and talk about that reset key switch, which is that strange unassigned looking key switch you saw in the first slot of the expression maps. If you've ever worked with expression maps before, you know that when you press stop in Cubase, they have a bit of an unexpected behavior to reset the key switch to the first topmost slot. So say you're playing your sequence and you're listening to staccato and then you hit stop, 
The next time you press play again, you'll find yourself suddenly listening to a sustain sound. Now, whether this is a feature or a bug, I'm not sure, but most composers tend to find this behavior undesirable. And the solution is to put like a dummy reset slot in the first position, which has no trigger. The trigger is just unassigned. So if you ever look at other people's expression maps, you might see that they all start with a label like NA for not assigned or unassigned or three dashes or something. Well, the Composer Tools Pro Expression Map Converter just takes care of this for you. When you go to Export Expression Maps, you'll see an Options panel. If you open it, there you'll see the option to create the reset slots. By default, the converter uses the three dashed lines, but you can rename them to whatever you want, and the converter will remember your preferred name for next time. What's nice is that when you export expression maps using this option, a reset slot will only be created if one doesn't already exist, so you don't have to worry about accidentally creating two of them. And what's more is that when importing a Composer Tools Pro bank, any reset slots get ignored since there's no need for them in Composer Tools Pro. So you don't have to worry about wasting a bunch of time deleting a bunch of dummy key switches. The converter also contains a few convenient editing functions for dealing with some of the common conversion scenarios that you might encounter. You can edit the key switch labels directly in the converter because sometimes you want key switches to be labeled differently in the expression maps than you do in Composer Tools Pro. If you go up to the Edit menu, there's an option to Multi-Edit Labels. And when this is selected, any other key switches that have the same label will also be changed. So say, for example, instead of using the word Long for these key switches, I want to rename them as Sustain. And now they're all called Sustain. Finally, for sample libraries that use one articulation per channel, you can also change the MIDI channel output of the expression map directly in the converter. You can even select auto-channelize and the converter will automatically take care of it for you. Next, you also typically remove the key switch outputs because when using this method, the expression map is acting solely as a MIDI channel router and has no need for actual key switch outputs. So just go up to the edit menu and select remove outputs.